Uh, on behalf of MS, uh, I would like to, uh, to welcome you here in the Cali Club, uh, in, uh, in our area, and where we were born. And uh, my family is living together with Evgenia and our two sons. It's a great honor and pleasure to have you here. I will not say a lot tonight because we will say the things and we will leave that for tomorrow morning for our business part. Uh, what I want to say is I would like to thank Akali Club and uh, Jan Giorgakakis and Kelly Mavromati, uh, the Director of, uh, uh, of uh, Marketing and, and, and uh, Business Relationship, Business Community of the Akali Club that made this possible and uh, we have the honor to have here this, uh, to host this event that uh, is sponsored uh, by them and the reception and dinner. And now I will leave, I would like to ask uh, Evgenia Botanapulu, the president of, uh, of Mozart Termelas, and my wife uh, to, to uh, uh, welcome you on behalf of Mozart Termelas. Dear guests, dear Mozart Termelas members, on behalf of the Mozart Termelas board, I would like to welcome you to the inaugural event of our association. First of all, I would like to thank Mr. Yanis Jordakakis, CEO of the Cali Club and Mozart the last founding member for sponsoring this welcoming reception. Now I would like to present you briefly Mozart the last goals and plans. Our association's mission and goals, as reflected in our statutes, are fostering classical music in Greece, fostering and disseminating Mozart's music heritage, Organizing lectures, seminars, conferences, recitals, concert performances, workshops, music events related to Mozart's work and to other composers. Creating and maintaining an archive of Mozart performances in Greece. We want to collaborate closely with Mozart the Musazot Foundation and its branches in other countries. We would like to become members of the International Mozart Theum Foundation and participate actively in its various projects and activities, such as the annual Mozart Week Festival. To achieve the goal of raising awareness about Mozart's music and music in general, we want to collaborate with other cultural institutes, associations and foundations to organize conferences and music events. Such projects will have multiplying effects of synergy and networking. Another important aspect of our aims is to advance music education in Greece. We want not only to make music education more visible in Greece, but also to help and empower young talents to strengthen their competencies and capacities through scholarships and exchange programs. We are thrilled to have with us today Dr. Tobias Debuch, General Manager of Salzburg Mozarteum Foundation, Dr. Gabrielle Ramsauer, Head of Mozart Museums, and Ms. Anya Morkestern, Concert Master of the Salzburg University Orchestra. Please welcome Dr. Debuch. Thank you, Eugenia. Thank you, Costas. You're all uh, I have the honor to. No, let's start another way around. A few weeks ago, I had to, to held a lecture in front of students, and uh, finally they asked me, "What what are you doing? Uh, what is your pro profession?" And in the end, we came out with the, with the sentence that I said, "Okay, I'm the manager of Mozart." <laughs> <laughs> and this is crazy. It's a crazy idea, but uh, in the end, it's it's a bit like this. Uh, the Mozarteum Foundation. You you have a lot of things going around here in Salzburg is that we foster the heritage of Mozart. We, 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 we earned it, we, we, we got the, the heritage of Mozart and his whole family in Salzburg from his two sons and his widow Constanze. And from this nucleus, the, the whole legacy of Mozart became uh, what it is today. And one of our most important things to do is to spread the word, to bring the music in, in the world, to bring the music of Mozart and the classical music, but not only this type of music, to bring our cultural heritage to, uh, to the world, to the younger world, to the young children, and uh, therefore we are named International Foundation Mozarteum, based in Salzburg. Um, 
We have, of course, the, the heritage. We have uh, two, two large museums, and uh, Gabriele Ramsauer is the head of the museums. And <clears throat> up, uh, we have, on the second side, we have a lot of research going on still. There's a lot lots of things to, to, to find about Mozart. And of course, we do concerts. We do lots, so much music in, in Salzburg. And you know, every time you come to Salzburg to, to experience a concert, it, you, you can be guaranteed that there is high, high-end classical, high-end uh, uh, musicians and, and music experience. So therefore, we even have uh, one of my Funniest colleagues is named Rolando Biasson. He is the, the artistic director of the Mozart Woche, of one of our festivals. So we are a huge family of Mozart lovers, and we try really to, to bring this uh, man and his legacy to the world. And here are so much aviation uh, people. We always uh, talk about Mozart uh, that he was the first uh, frequent traveler of all times. <laughs> He had to have a horn member status of anything because he was traveling in Europe. And he was one of the first Europeans, if we look at the European uh, elections in a, in a few weeks. Uh, he was really um, a man of the Enlightenment looking without borders to, to, to the future. So this is so much good stories to tell about and that's, that's basically what we do and it's a, that's really a treasure. So, Perhaps, Gabi, you can tell two minutes about our... Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for the invitation. Yes, the Salzburg Mozarteum Foundation runs two museums. That's Mozart's birthplace and the house where he was born and Mozart's residence. And every year, thousands of visitors come into our houses because they want to get in touch with Mozart. And I really can assure you they are on the right place there because we own the greatest collection of authentic, original Mozart portraits, many manuscripts, letters, memorabilia, and we own six original instruments for Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart two keyboard instruments and uh, four string instruments. And one of them, of these instruments, the string instruments, we brought with us for these two days we are staying here in Athens. And that's the so-called Costa violin. Not Costa, <laughs> not Costa violin. <laughs> but it's named after the, the violin maker Pietro Antonio da Costa, who made this instrument in the year 1764 in Treviso. And when Mozart <coughs> left uh, Salzburg and went to Vienna, he left his old instruments, the other violins in Salzburg, and he bought this instrument then in Vienna. And after his death, it was in private property and for a long time in the Hill Collection, that's a great uh, factory of, of uh, violins. And we always knew there must be an, uh, a, a violin by Mozart, but we didn't know the owner, he was unknown. And then in the year 2013, one really donator bought this instrument from this private owner and gave it to our foundation. And that was really a very, very great moment, not only in my, my life. And I would like to say that one of the conditions was to, that this, this violin should be played and that we should go with this violin also abroad to the people uh, and that they feel the spirit of Mozart. And that's the reason how we are here in Athens. Thank you. Thank you. For your contribution to classical music, um, I would like to welcome you again, uh, um, Dr. Debuch, <laughs> and to give you this.
invite and introduce Yanis Iatrou, who together with his teacher, Nina Patrikidou, Vice President of Mozart Peumalas, um, who is also Master Master of, great, of uh, Greek National um, Opera Orchestra, will welcome you with Mozart's Allegro. Yeah. 